if Vivian's off stage, and we see Harold. Do we Harold, know, actually, how does he know that it's the, it, well, he'll just have done all of this. How does he, he know what? The, he's found the, he knows that the clock is still in the bathroom, and he knows that it's still $500 in the kitchen well, drawer. He says that I found some money in a drawer, which I borrowed, and they're, 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 you know, they're going to oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So he knows he, where he put his money. But so, because what's important here is he spots something on the coffee table. It's Vivian's right. cell phone and a piece of paper. It could go right to, damn. Or we could catch you reading the note with the phone. Lights up, there you are reading. Okay. I mean, do you, I mean, otherwise we can go through all of this. Yeah, no, right. And yeah, you can. So why don't we just start with you having discovered the note in the phone, so when the lights come up, you're, you're reading the note. Right. Good morning. How are you feeling? Dear Harold, So, so stand it, read it, and then maybe the dam is just not so angry, but more like what a damn. what an asshole I was. And go sit down. You know, you could sit down on the sofa, and then you could come in and go, go behind Dang. you. Yeah, I mean, I, okay. I think she would go. Yeah, yeah, so go behind, you know, you need okay. to go behind the sofa. Dang. Dang. Is he going to stay out here in the living room? Isn't that your line? Harold, out here in the living room. Oh, okay. Good morning. Harold! Out oh, here in the living room. Good morning. So why don't you come behind him, as if you're going to put your arms around him from behind and snuggle with him there. So you'll be standing behind him to read the note, which would be a yes. more interesting picture. Thank you for yesterday. You are great people, a great 
kids are really well. I couldn't sleep, so I got up with the birds and I'm heading back to the city. Picked the lock, no problem, and served myself a bowl of cereal. Thank you, Harry. Found some money in the drawer, which I borrowed. I'll return it, promise. Good luck to both of us. Sincerely, Steve Gay. How much did he get? I spent the dollars. My emergency money. Couldn't have hired last night. Oh, that's what he said. Oh, forget it. Did you take anything else? No. Place the fake gold watch in the bag. Still there. Well, he said he only steals out of necessity. Say what? cell phone, Harold, you move in and Steve can follow you in when he shows it to you. Is that line about Cameron necessary because when he says that his friend Cameron told him they would be an easy mark, I would assume Cameron knows where he went. So do we have to mention that your friend Cameron wouldn't no. know where he disappeared? I, I just dropped that line. It's all right. If you want to leave it in, leave it in. I'm just telling you. If, if, I mean, I do need to write something else. Kind of if I yeah, you have to write something else. But it just strikes a false note. It sounds like it's in there just to take up space. Well, then, then she shouldn't mention Cameron earlier on either. I mean, that's the thing. is that we've mentioned it, and it seems yeah. like... Well, I guess that takes care of Cameron. Who? Forget it. Did he take anything right. else? So we've already mentioned him in the scene. That's mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. having him mentioned again, it's not like he's dangling there. I just leave it alone. And I think it keeps to be something that Steve would like to do. It just feels really awful. So you're here. So you're here. So it's awesome. Steve, come in. I can do it. I mean, there has to be something to justify your suddenly being enthusiastic. Right. So I don't know. There just seems to be something more so that you are more connected. Yep, I, I feel good. Okay. And I mean, you're really happy that he's there. Um, OK, 
okay, I'm going to be the real <laughs> devil's advocate here. Anyway, how do you know he's not come back to do you harm? Hello? Hi, are you assuming he's come back because he's well, repentant we just, and wants to get the money? The last thing that we were talking about was the fact that we were good Samaritans, and I still don't regret asking him to stay. I still have these good feelings yeah, yeah, no, about I, I get what that. I did. But my, all I'm saying is that when you open the door and welcome him in yes. like that, I, then I assume that you know that he's already... How about if I... Steve! Hey, look, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I did well, take him in, baby. Come, well, come in. Well, come well, in. Well, come in. Well, come in. There's also That's the fact that I could have beaten him up in the night. Wow. Yeah. I've, I've already demonstrated. I got out of my room in the night and didn't touch him. I didn't harm him. No, no, I, I understand that. So why would I why would I come back and give him harm instead of doing harm the eight hours? Well, why would you come back to give him back his money? Because he had a no, no. I understand why you why you're doing that. I'm just saying that. Never mind. Do it however you want to do it. For me, it, you're totally anticipating that he's come to to make his money. Sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, well, sorry man. If you have lost your money in your hand, okay. you can, you know, hand yeah. Up. That makes sense. And Steve doesn't know if he knocks and they open the door. Maybe they'll they go, you know, maybe they'll the club him or something. Okay. Maybe Tim's got that golf club in his hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. So let me see. They have an They have an eleven year old. Let's see. They have eleven. Okay. They have eleven year old cheerleaders now. Steve. I'm sorry, man. Well, come in. I couldn't do it. It was too much. It wasn't fair. Good. You know, you can say, if you want to, you can say, see, I mean, uh, after. I couldn't do it. Here, you can hand him the money, and you can say, if that's easier. And see, no, come that's in. Easier the way it happened. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, it was too much. It wasn't fair. Good. Well, where are you? I went down to the station. Maybe we had that tree climbing job in your mind uh, with all the other stuff that's happening. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right, okay, what, what's happening, these are my positives for you. The fact is coming back with the money, the fact that you... Yeah, no, no, I, I don't know all that. I'm not arguing but that. But I was too no, I'm not sort of, I think I'm talking to myself. Right. So, and then he's saying that he obviously appreciates the beauty of the beach. One more, you know. Do you have a cell phone? Yes, he confesses to that. Uh, I mean, I think it's okay. Okay, 12 he minutes of him with the car was. Well, the other thing is that I could add something. Well, it's just a really awkward introduction to this topic. I mean, That's it's, right, it's, it's very awkward. If, if, if you were going to offer me a job, which it sounds like you would talk about offering me a job, I think not. You'd bring up the job first and then bring up my tree money skills. Yeah, so maybe, or even what you both are you going to do now? Yeah. And then, I don't know, I guess I am. So, I yeah, I even a line like, after you said you have a cell phone, right? Yeah, I do. Well, you got everything but a job. I mean, anything yeah, to anything introduce to the that. idea that he needs work. But, 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 so, but as the writer, I thought that was the sort of, the sort of price it's not. It's not. <laughs> I, I hate to think so. If you were writing a short, short story, yeah. that, that would be fun. It's not a short story. It's something that's happening in real time, and the audience wants something to make sense. And so right now, it's like, why? Do, where is that coming from? I mean, it's so abrupt. That's really the problem. And it's also abrupt for him. He's just come in, confessed to taking the money, handed the money back, confessed to having a cell phone. He's, he still doesn't have any future. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think it matters so much what, if it's weird for him, what matters is if it's believable that she would come up with that. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not believable. believable. Not Nor is it believable under the circumstances that to your out of left field, how are your tree climbing skills, that he would give Answer you this, this elaborate yeah. description of his jungle. Uh, My jungle gym this. career. All right, now <laughs> let me just give you $500. That's one of the things I want to test. Um, okay, that's that fine, but, the, but, but I have help that. 
Yeah. Is if Harold said some off the cuff remark like, "Well, now all you need is a job," which at least makes Vivian go, "Oh, how are you tree climbing she skills? Has, I've got this interview on." You know, yeah, yes. the thought connects the dots. Yes, but even if you, okay. she just said, "Oh, wait a minute." Right. So that we understand that there's been... You had a realization. That's yes, right. And I, I would not do this big speech. Oh, you want to try that? Oh, she wants to try it. I want to try it. Okay. With the, with the so... Oh. Yep. Okay. Uh, Steve hasn't been working. Where does he go? Call it. I, this, this Karen Kinchilla, she's my Kinchilla. Kinchilla. Hi, this is Karen Kinchilla, my new employer. Karen, this is, this is now Vivian Carpenter and Harold Kramer of, what's it called now? Uh, youth, youth Force. Youth Force, a Youth Force Employment Service. Okay. Okay, so so just in 
terms of spacing, if you cannot creep upstage, okay. and Harold, you need to come into the picture more, I think. And Mr. Kitchlow is okay with this arrangement? No, Mr. Kitchlow is no longer with us. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, don't be. He's alive and well, I presume. He's living in the city. You are happy working for Mrs. Kitchlow, Steve? Yeah. And you can Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Just come right behind her, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, very. You are aware that Steve is only 18, right? As long as he's legal. <laughs> He's very capable, and I love the fact that he's so well read. He's even got me to he's even got me to read and she teach it. I really feel inspired. <laughs> sure he does too. Haven't I seen him at the club? Sweetwater Country Club? Yes. My husband and I used to play golf there all the time. What's your husband's name? Frederick Kitchelo? Kitchelo Kitchelo. Oh, Fred. Yeah, I remember. A handicap of 15, I think. But I seem to remember him having had with some older children. They were from his first marriage. I'm his second wife. I take golf lessons on Tuesday. Perhaps we should play sometime. All right. Well, let's see. I, well, Tuesdays, I normally play with four buddies. Or, no, I can make an exception. That would be a pleasure, Mr. Kramer. Harold. Harold. Um, you want Steve full time or uh, full time five days a week? So come, come in a little bit, get yourself back into the scene. You want Steve full time five days a week? There might be some overtime, but that will of course be extra pay. Good. I'll write up the contract and Steve can bring it over. Wonderful. Oh, time to pick up the kids. So happy to have met, to have met you. Well, get me in? Yeah. I don't think we'll really go back to you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so when he introduces them, should there be handshaking? That's what I was going to wonder. Like, I think hi, it's, it's a pleasure you meeting. would shake hands with this is Vivian Carpenter and Harold Kramer. I think that that is what would happen. Don't you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, no, I think I think we're, 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 we're well that under normal circumstances, but I think that we're just taken aback by this whole situation. See, my focus is on yeah. where the hell does he go? Call him. Yeah, and then sort of I don't know. It's just a little. I don't know. The whole thing, though, about the country. I mean, there's a certain protocol of behavior, yeah. which is ingrained in people that go to country clubs, and part of it is shaking hands. It's right. just. Yep. But, but let's okay. just try it and see, you know. Let's try it. Yeah, and I, I think that with where I was going about it, there would be a, well, hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I, I don't know so sure that you're that comfortable charging them. Yeah, you might yeah, not. Might. You might just, yeah. whatever. But I, can we just go back to your entrance again? 